Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice exponential equation with natural logs. We have 2x to the power ln2 equals 3x to the power ln3, and we're going to be solving for x values. So I'm going to show you the solution method, how to find x, and also show you the result from Wolfram Alpha, and at the end we're going to be looking at a graph. Okay, let's get started. We have 2x to the power ln2 on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have 3x to the power ln3. So 2 goes with 2 and 3 goes with 3, right? Okay, cool. So what do we do? So here's one thing that we can do is definitely distribute the power. So when you have something like a times b, by the way that's not the color that I'm looking for, so when you have something like, probably this one, a times b to the power n, you can basically write it as a to the power n times b to the power n. Make sense? So we can distribute the power, per se. So to do that, we're going to write this as 2 to the power ln 2 multiplied by x to the power ln 2. That equals 3 to the power ln 3 times x to the power ln 3. Awesome. Now you might be questioning at this point, why don't we just divide both sides by something or divide the left hand side by the right hand side so that we, we can put the x's together. The problem with that is the bases and the exponents are different. So we can't really do anything. When you have two you know, expressions that you're dividing, either the bases or the exponents have to be equal so you can work with them using the properties of exponents. Okay? So let's see how we can uh, simplify this. Now the x's are separated, so we can go ahead and bring them together. Let's go ahead and divide by x to the power ln3. So we get x to the power ln2 divided by x to the power ln3. And then let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 to the power ln2. So we get 3 to the power ln3 divided by 2 to the power ln2. So this way we separated the x's from the numbers. Make sense? And now we have the same base. So how do you divide if you have the same base? So if you're dividing x to the power a by x to the power b, you can basically write it as x to the power a minus b. In other words, if you're dividing powers with the same base, then you subtract the exponents and use the same base. Make sense? So now we can write this as, the left hand side as, x to the power ln2 minus ln3. Awesome. And what about the right hand side? The bases are different, the exponents are different, nothing much we can do. I mean, we can convert the bases, but I don't think that's going to be super helpful. Just leave it like that. That's fine. And there's some type of symmetry here, right? So the next thing to do it would be to solve for x. Now, how would you solve for x? There's a couple ways to go about it. We can raise both sides to the power something, or we can log both sides. And for log, we can basically use the natural log, which is ln. So it doesn't matter which method you use because the exponent is actually here. It's not a variable, so it wouldn't matter much. But the only problem with lning both sides is to get to x, you have to do e to the power again. So that's going to be more work. Let's not do it. Let's go ahead and raise both sides to the power uh, the reciprocal of this. So, we have x to the power ln2 minus, uh oh, I don't know why this is happening, sometimes, so some type of bug for this. Anyways, so we have x to the power ln2 minus ln3 equals this. I'm going to write it again because I'm going to raise both sides to the power something. And now let's go ahead and raise both sides to the power 1 over ln2 minus ln3, and here the same thing to the power 1 over ln2 minus ln3. Make sense? Now, these two are going to cancel out, giving us x on the left-hand side. So we got the value of x as 3 to the power ln3 over 2 to the power ln2, whatever that number is, to the power 1 over ln2 minus ln3. I mean, you could write this as ln2 thirds, but I, I don't think that's going to be a huge improvement. So it's pretty much going to be the same thing. All right? So that's the value of x, basically. And what we can do with this is check the numerical value, 
see what that looks like and then also we're going to look at the numerical value from Wolfram Alpha and then we're going to look at a graph and the graph will kind of confirm uh, our finding. Uh, actually, I should probably say the values from Wolfram Alpha is going to confirm. Anyways, you'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit. But let's also talk about an alternative method. Is there another way to do this problem? Absolutely. You can LN both sides. So let's go ahead and briefly talk about it. And then maybe after that, we're going to look at the, you know, uh, graph and other values. So we have 2x to the power LN2 equals 3x to the power LN3. And I said we could just natural log both sides. Let's do it. And let's go ahead and move this away a little bit so we can fit the uh, natural log there. And now we can go ahead and ln this and ln that. ln is natural logarithm, okay? Now, power, uh, properties of logs, this is going to be to the front, ln2 times ln2x equals ln3 times ln3x. Awesome. Here, we did not separate the x's by distributing the exponents, so, but we can still do it by using properties of logs again. If you have the log of a product, as you should know, it can be written as the sum of two logs, ln2 plus lnx, and then this can be written as ln3 plus lnx. Now this is gonna allow you to solve for lnx, but let's go ahead and distribute first, ln2 squared plus ln2 times lnx equals ln3 squared plus ln3 times lnx. And then if you go ahead and put the terms that has lnx in them on the same side and factor out, so we can go ahead and factor out an lnx here, and then that'll give us ln2 minus ln3. And then if you put this on the right hand side, we're gonna get ln3 squared minus ln2 squared. Make sense? Now what is that gonna give us? This something interesting is gonna happen here. If you go ahead and Divide both sides by ln2 minus ln3. You're going to get this. And then divide by that. And I can actually put a negative sign here and write this as ln3 minus ln2. Now what is so significant about this expression is that the top, the numerator, can actually be factored as difference of two squares. Do you see that? Okay. And that comes from uh, distributing the ln3 over ln3 plus lnx because that gives us ln3 squared, right? Okay, cool. Now, let's see how we can uh, use this information. ln x from here is going to be, now when you factor this ln3 plus ln2 times ln3 minus ln2, and you can divide it by the negative of that, and ln3 and ln2 cancel out, leaving you with something like this, and you can then do e to the power both sides, and hopefully you'll arrive at the same answer. Let's go ahead and take a look at some numerical values and see what happens. So first of all, the graph of these two functions, and as you can see, this was the value that we found, remember? And this kind of like, this kind of looks complicated. All I did was use the x value, x coordinate as our solution, and the y value is by just found by plugging in that value for x here. <laughs> Makes sense? I know that kind of looks complicated, but these two curves intersect at a single point, and the value from I'm sorry, it's not Wolfram Alpha, it's actually Desmos, as you can see here. And the values kind of agree here. Notice that these two are the same because for this particular t value, they intersect. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye bye.